This is part two, chapter seven. Uh, why should I review the short sale option? Uh, I wanted to talk a little bit more about unsecured promissory notes that could be the result of a successful short sale. In some cases, the mortgage insurance company has issued out a full payout or for whatever reason, the servicer or the investor says, they want basically a little bit out of skin out of the game. So if they're taking a $100,000 hit or a $200,000 uh, loss, then they may require that the, that the sellers at this point sign an unsecured promissory note, and that could range between five and $20,000. They're typically uh, zero interest over an affordable term eight years, 15 years that will fit into the financial budget. So actually signing a $10,000 promissory note when the lender took a ten thousand or $100,000 discount is probably a pretty good exchange. Um, the other part I wanted to talk about is what is Coastal Navigation Partners. It's basically, it's a processing company and they process short sales on behalf of real estate agents and attorneys. Uh, typically the real estate agents um, expertise wise in listing the property, showing the property, bringing buyers to properties, but it's not necessarily dealing with the banks. We negotiate with the banks all day long. That's what we're good at. And so it's a very good team concept that we have the realtors do what they're good at and then we stick to what we're good at. And that way, they, it's a very, very time efficient methodology. Uh, the other part I wanted to talk about is, is on these future modifications, whether they're through the HARP program or the HAMP program, I haven't seen the deeds of trust on those, but I'm very scared and afraid that they would contain some kind of recourse verbiage in the deeds of trust. So just know what you're getting into when you go to the title company or the attorney office to sign the modifications or the, the high loan to value refinances that you're really reading through there. And if there's any kind of uh, reference towards being responsible for full deficiency, then I don't know if you can either walk away from that transaction or maybe renegotiate those modifications um, as a safety measure because these modifications have anywhere between a, a 30 and a 60% failure rate. So the odds are these modifications won't stick. Uh, so I just want to make sure that you know exactly what you're getting into. And if they don't stick, then you're going through the short sale option. And then we're going to have to deal with, um, are you um, going to be responsible for a unsecured promissory note or is there a deficiency that we need to try and negotiate out so we're basically professionally breaking up that contract so just as a word of caution i ran out of time on the last segment so that's why i'm putting this addendum in here let's move on to chapter eight